Hi, everybody. In case you don't know me, my name is Miss Abby, and I'm in the outreach department at Trike Theater. I'm very excited to electronically see you all for our Trike This at Home series. This week, we're talking about taking risks, making mistakes, and learning new things, something I'm really excited to talk to you more about. I have something that you're going to really enjoy doing, and I also have a challenge for you. But first, I want to show you something new. It's probably something that you haven't done before. I want to show you how to make comics online. All right, come on, let's go. I'll show you. So the first thing that you'll need to do to create your comic online is you'll need to go to storyboardthat.com. So once you're at the website, it'll look kind of like this. You can access this website on your phone on your laptop, on your computer, on your tablet, whichever one you're more comfortable with. And then from here, you'll go to log in. So some of you may have used this tool before. You may already know about it. Some of you haven't, and that's okay. If you haven't used this tool before, you'll need an adult to help you register. So you'll click this register button, and you'll have your um, adult with you to put in an email address and to put in um, a password. So these are things that you'll need to remember so that you can have them. So once you have all that and once you're registered, you'll go to log in. And when you log in, it'll end up looking a little bit like this. So we in this website create comics. Another thing that you can call them is storyboards. So what you'll do to start creating is go right here to the button that says create a storyboard. So let's click it. So once you're in here, it'll show you three blank squares. These squares are called panels. They're kind of like a border on a picture that you create. So in here, you can create three pictures. So these three pictures should tell a story. The first thing that you'll think about when you're telling your story is where does it happen? So you have a lot of options for that. So you can put this kind of a background in, if that's something that, if that's where you want your story to happen, or you can look over here and you can see there are a bunch of other places where your story could happen. Maybe it takes place here. Who knows? It's up to you. So for my story, I think I want it to take place here. Kind of looks like a park. I like this background. I would like my story to happen here. So now that I have that, I can go and add the second thing, which is characters. There are tons of characters here to choose from. In each character, you can change the way that they look. So we can go to adults, teens, kids, jobs, sports, there's so many to choose from. So let me just show you what it looks like when you pick somebody. So I drag somebody in and boom, there she is. So once she's in the comic, I can change the way that she looks. I can change her hair color. If I wanted her to look more like me, I'd have her have dark hair. So I can change her skin color too. So this skin color matches mine, but I could choose to have a character with a different skin color as well. Here's some you can change her eyes, change the color of her dress, change her makeup, jewelry, any of that. So now that I have my character in here, I can also change her size. So if I wanted this character to be kind of far away, I would make her really small. And then she's back there. So I could also have her be right up front. I could make her really big so that if we're looking at her like it's a picture, She's really close to the camera. So now that I have my background and my character, I'm ready for the third thing, which is dialogue, meaning what do the characters say? So I'm gonna go over to textables and I'm gonna find something like this. So this is a box that shows what she's saying. So you see how it has the little tail at the end here? That's where the sound is coming from. So this little tail, I'm going to point it so that it's closer to her mouth. So if I am writing a story about her, I have to decide, well, what is this story about? In my story, I think my character is feeling pretty lonely. 
So something that she might say, I feel lonely. So you notice how when I wrote that, I didn't say she feels lonely because it's her talking. So she would talk about herself. She would say, I feel lonely. That's called the first person. So usually when you write in text that people are saying, you're going to think about what would they say? Okay, so those are the three elements that you need for your story. Now I have my first panel done, so I can go and do the next panel. So I want you to think, if you were making this story, what do you think would be a good thing to put in the second panel? How could I make this story better? Hmm. I'm really excited to see what you all come up with. So now that you know how to create a comic online, I want to tell you more about what my challenge to you is. So trying something new and making mistakes is one way to take a risk. Another way to take a risk is to open yourself up to being vulnerable to somebody. Maybe you know somebody who's hurting. How can you help them? How can you take a risk to be able to help them? So my challenge to you, I want you to create a comic that shows you helping somebody who's hurting right now. So first, you're going to have to think about what is something people might be struggling with right now? Are they feeling lonely? Do they want to see their friends? Are they feeling sad about being inside? So I want you to think about a problem somebody might have right now. And I want you to think about what advice you would give to them. How would you help them? Now, this can be a little bit hard. So what I encourage you to do is if you're having a hard time thinking about what the answer might be, what advice you would give, then talk to somebody who's in your house. Or you can call a friend or call a family member and talk to them about how they might solve this problem. Now, once you know what the person is struggling with and how you might help them, what advice you would give, put all of that into storyboard that and create a comic. And once you're finished, I wanna see them. So make sure to email them to us at trikecommunity at triketheater.org. So that's it for me for now. Stay tuned for more from us from Trike This at Home, and you'll see me again soon. Goodbye.